Hello. There is nothing except my own world, a reflection of my own consciousness. So you appear in my world and I see you as the reflection of whatever is active in me. And the same in your world. I'm appearing in your world now. And I'm reflecting whatever is active in you. And when somebody else comes into my world, because I've invited them, I've put them there, I become whatever is active in them. Now, how can I become whatever is active in whoever I'm with? because I represent the whole, as do you. But only those aspects of me that are brought, brought forth through another are going to be displayed. I am what you expect me to be, and I can't be anything else. So if I say or do something in your presence that upsets you, don't blame me. You invited it and it's a gift for your realisation, for your experience. I've come to understand that every experience I can approach through the human mind, through ego, and therefore have an opinion about a story about which will make me feel good, bad or otherwise or I can approach each moment through wholeness, through presence and as I approach each moment through presence I meet that moment anew because I don't have any expectation, any assumption going on, because in absolute presence, there is no mind. So when I meet you in presence, I meet your presence. And this is what life is about. Life is about relationship. And it's only through relationship that we can know ourselves. Because every relationship, whether it's with a person or an, an experience or indeed a thing, is reflecting something back to us, something that's active in us. Now, that can be a healing moment, a moment of pure feeling, of accepting the moment and feeling what is taking place and healing, or it can be a moment of separation. And the choice is ours. The choice is always ours. You know, we all live in our own heaven on earth. And it's not in some place, some far off place. It's right here, right now. But it depends what's going on within whether we are in the moment and free of mind or whether we are in time and experiencing life through the mind. The mind is a veil. It is the creator of the illusion that we call life. Now, it's not the creator of you. You've got your own life. but the mind creates images and form that appears real to us and it creates in duality, meaning everything it creates, it creates in abundance as well as lack. So that depending on 
our state of being when we approach that thing determines what part of that thing, that wholeness that we experience. So every single person, every single being is part of the one consciousness, the whole, part of God, part of source. Yet you express in each moment according to what is before you. And this has been a big, big revelation for me because if I'm looking at somebody and I'm seeing this person displaying sickness, then there's a belief in me around sickness existing. If I'm looking at somebody in limitation, then I've also got a belief in limitation. And this is where the healing begins. I was reintroduced to Ho'oponopono a couple of nights ago. And it was such a deep realization for me. You know, I met with Ho'oponopono many, many, many years ago, probably could be 15 years ago. And I thought it was a fun concept and a method that I used over and over again, you know, and Ho'oponopono, if you haven't heard of it, is four simple phrases. It's, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you, and I love you. Now, the whole idea behind it is these are the four phrases which move us as the human back into the heart, back into love, back into the moment, back into alignment. When I first came across it, I understood there was a, a psychologist in Hawaii and I can't remember his full name, but I knew him as Dr. Hugh Lin or Hugh Len, and that was only a shortened version of his name. But he was head of this psychiatric hospital that were lifetime patients. And these people were expected to be in this institution until their last breath. When Dr. Hugh Len started at this hospital, he never, ever saw a single patient, a single client, but each day he would pull out the client file one by one, go through them all, and he would say and feel ho'oponopono over each client. And within a year, almost all of those inmates were released. In a very short time, the hospital was actually, you know, not containing any of these original um, patients. And I thought, wow, this is awesome. Like he's focusing on these clients and he's healing each of each one of them. A couple of nights ago when I was reintroduced by my own internal guidance to Ho'oponopono, I was shown that it wasn't about this doctor healing these other people because I'm the only one that really exists in my world. Everybody else is an invited guest. We are co-creating when you are in my world, but I only ever meet with my concept of you. I only ever meet with my consciousness of you. Then if I am seeing, as Dr. Hulen was seeing, these um, names and believing them to be ill, he knew that the illness that these people were suffering was actually in him. So by saying Ho'oponopono, he was healing his own consciousness, his own frequency, his own state of being and bringing wholeness to these people. And we can do the same. So, you know, I spent several hours with Ho'oponopono bringing it to every aspect of my life that came to me one after the other where there was any sort of disharmony because I realized in that moment all of the experiences I had where 
I was still holding some sort of discord wasn't because of somebody else. It was because of my own being and my own consciousness. So for several hours, I was in this practice of Ho'oponopono and I was feeling it all. I was allowing the feeling, the forgiveness, the gratitude, the love to bring harmony to all of these aspects of the self. And it's been such a huge revelation. And if this sounds like something that re resonates with you, try it in your life. Because whenever we can bring harmony to a space in our own life, we are actually healing ourselves. Everything in our world, in our life, is happening within our own beingness, within our own consciousness. You know, this body is part of my own consciousness. There is no inside or out because in actual fact we're infinite. So everything just is. But this is part of the illusion created by my consciousness. And as I was going through the Ho'oponopono process, Eventually, after looking outward and blessing all of these discordant things that were apparent in my outside world, I came back to the self. I came back to the body, to the mind, to the true self. And I was deep in love and forgiveness of the being that I am. And, you know, it's been so life-changing and so humbling because I'm not this body-mind. I'm the life that is animating this body-mind. This body-mind is nothing more than my vehicle for experiencing the world of my consciousness that I call phys physicality. So... Have an absolutely beautiful day. Would love you to comment below. Share your experiences. And if you love what I'm sharing, please subscribe and have the best, 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 best day moment by moment. Big hugs.